everybody, Annie and Liz back again with another video. This time we're going to be focusing on uh, something that will be important for students, um, and that's how to set up your screen so that you can see both your instructor and the materials that your instructor is using for the lesson. So I am currently a student in Liz's room, so Liz is the instructor, and she's currently using the whiteboard feature to teach a very important lesson, which is all of uh, <laughs> our colleagues' names, so very important to know. So there are many options that you as a participant in the Zoom room can have to configure um, both the kind of the material and then all of the individuals in the room. So you can see right now that I have uh, the iPad that Liz is using and then on the right side you can see all five of the participants in the room which you may or may not want to have available to you. So there are many things we can do, and I'm just going to kind of walk you through getting rid of all of these videos and just having the instructor available. So the first thing that you can work with is this speaker view button up here. You, if you click that, it'll um, target just the person that is speaking here. Um, in this case, I guess Liz has priority because she's the one drawing and no one else is talking. So Liz shows up there. <laughs> she is drawing. Um, if I click it back to gallery view, that's how I get everyone to show up at the same time again. If I only want Liz to show up at all times because she's the instructor and get rid of everybody else, um, if you're on a PC, you can right click Liz's video and hit pin video and then it will only show her face. So you get rid of all of um, the students in the class and you just see the instructor. Uh, once you've done that, if you kind of hover over these double bars here, you can expand the size of her video so you can make it as big or as small as you want, and then it will adjust the materials on the left side accordingly. So you can choose your preference uh, for that. Um, some other things to note, um, up here in this upper right hand corner, you have the option to enter full screen mode, which you click and it takes away your ability to go anywhere else on the internet, which is going to be important for minimizing distractions. So that's there for you. Um, you can also go to this view options, uh, drop down menu here to exit full screen back to where I was. Um, another option that you have um, to get to kind of where I am, where I have the, the iPad, image and then Liz the instructor. I have this uh, option here under view options side by side mode checked. If I uncheck that it's going to make uh, a new window where I have the speaker very very large and the uh, materials very very small. So if I want this view and I want to see the lecture notes really large I would have to go over here to the upper right corner that says swap shared screen with video and then it will swap so that the, um, the materials, the iPad drawings are much bigger, and then all of the individuals in the class are at the top so I can see all of them. So there are a bunch of different um, options like I was mentioning, so you just kind of have to play around with what's best for you, but best tips and tricks, uh, in my opinion, and educator's opinion would be to have side-by-side -side mode checked, uh, make sure Liz's video is pinned, and make sure you're in speaker view, which means click this, and you'll know you're in speaker view when it says gallery view because you would toggle back to gallery view. It's sort of a little counterintuitive. So uh, if you have a setup that looks like this, this is going to be what uh, we recommend for participating in your class and maintaining the best attention you can, especially in full screen mode. So that's it for now. I hope you found this useful. Uh, good luck in classes, everybody.